guys, it's Alicia, and today I have a show vlog for you guys. So it is currently quarter past five in the morning. I've been up since four o'clock and we are about to go get Jet because today we have Camden dressage. So we are doing the 2A, 2B and 3A. Hopefully everything goes well today. Better than barrel dressage the other week. Fingers crossed. No. <laughs> what is it, Kyle? Abuse. Abuse. <laughs> Poor Kyle. He worked yesterday, so yesterday was Saturday. He was up at 6 a.m. He's one day off. He's up at 4 a.m. for a horse show. You can't see anything. Wow, she looks so shiny. Okay, so here we have the Novice 2A. I'm sorry about my voice. I am recovering from not having a voice and it's finally started to come back. However, I still sound like a man. So let's just ignore the fact that I don't have a voice and move on. Cool. So this is the Novice 2A. I went into Camden Dressage with a different outlook to what I normally do with my dressage competitions because we'd have a couple of rough spots at comps. First of all, I thought it was just the fact that it was at hack shows so like showing and that it was just she was getting bored then we went to barrel dressage and although she was a lot better she was still not um her normal self and she was not sore or had any issues because she'd been checked out it was just almost like she just had a bit of a cheeky attitude um she was also in season which didn't help but I went into Camden not caring about my scores and just wanting a good set of tests to go into Bathurst Royal, which was two weeks after this comp. And I'm very happy to say that that's what we got. So these three tests are definitely far from our best, but that's not what I wanted. I wanted Jep to go around without any silliness because that's not what we had um, at our last comps and I just wanted her to be relaxed not tense which is exactly what I got um, and that was particularly what I focused on in my two novices I'll get on to what I focused on in my elementary once the elementary test comes up but yeah so um, overall with this test I was pretty happy with it we didn't get much of a lengthen trot on either side so that was a lengthen trot then I didn't really push her though either because I just wanted her to go around relaxed without any mishaps. So here's our walk. I always fast forward our walks because they're just long and boring. Uh, I was pretty happy with this test. Her headset was fairly consistent. Her pole's getting higher and higher. Um, bit of a bounce into that can of transition. Um, but yeah, so her pole was not the highest that it has been at comps, but that's okay. It was consistent. She didn't argue with me, which she did at barrel a little bit, uh, where she'd kind of fight the contact. She didn't do that at all this day, which was amazing. And we didn't have any carry-ons or anything. So yeah, um, this was probably the worst test of the day for me. I'm not saying it was bad, it was just out of all three, it was the one I was least happy with. And I think it's just because I went into this as much as I wanted to go in positive that she wasn't going to do anything silly. I still had that in the back of my head. And after doing this test was when I realised, hey, she's fine, she's going to be good. And I had a better, better attitude for the next two tests because... This comp also was just a big decider for Bathurst Royal because the last thing we wanted to do was drive, make the drive to Bathurst with her um, being cheeky at a local-ish comp. So um, it, I, have, I was so relieved after coming out of this test, even though it wasn't an amazing test, just that she went around happily. So it was really the start for the rest of the day. We have a bit of m more length than in that trot still not quite there um and there's zoe walking in the background zoe came and watched me that day thank you zoe for your constant support <laughs> i love having you at all these camden dressage days so here we come up for our last part of the test 
So this halt is um, towards the judge's car instead of halting at X, it's further up, which is a little bit different for us. Our halts also were very non not square <laughs> this day. Seems like I've been saying that a lot lately. I just, I don't know. Um, that one wasn't too bad. They're just kind of, you know, you never really know what you're going to get. But yeah, we got first place for that test, surprisingly. Um, here we have our novice 2B. I was a lot happier with this test. I was just in a better frame of mind at this point. Each test went on. Oh my god, that halt. A quick till it should get out of it. Trot, trot, trot. Um, I was just getting in a better frame of mind each test. So the test got better because Jet could tell I wasn't thinking she was going to do something wrong. Um, as well, her headset is a bit higher through this test, which is nice. See, that's supposed to be a lengthened trot, and it's just not. It's a bit more lengthened than a working trot, but it's still not considered lengthened. Um, so she tends to fall um, onto the forehand a bit through the corners, as you can see. Um, the more I watch my test, the more I realise it, and I try to get her off the forehand through the corners, but it's just kind of a habit that is a bit hard to get her out of. There's our first leg yield. Uh, I don't remember if that was our bad leg yield. I don't know. Our leg yields didn't score well this day for some reason. I didn't think they were as bad as what the scores reflected, but they got like fives, which I thought was not deserved. But anyway, um, there's another lengthened trot, which again wasn't lengthened, but very happy with her headset. It's just improving so much. Um, here we come up, and her, she didn't fall on the forehand there, which was nice. Headset's nice for coming up for our second leg yield. This leg yield was much better, actually. She's a lot stronger on this leg, but she does actually trip. <laughs> so I feel like that's what resulted in the lower score for this side, because this side scored lower than the other leg yield, even though it was a better leg yield. So here we go for our walk. Uh, she's getting really nice with these long rain walks, as you can tell. I just need to get them a bit more consistent. Um, but she's really starting to stretch down through her neck, which is obviously what's preferred. <laughs> uh, quite a nice little transition into the trot there. Here we come up for the canter, and I'm really happy with that transition. So that was what we were struggling with as well at Barrel Dressage. If you guys did watch that vlog, it was keeping the contact through our trot to canter transitions as well as not having her just fight me in general. I don't know. But we're over that now. We've had a, another comp since which was obviously Bathurst and the vlog for that will be out next week and she's back to her brilliant self and performing better than ever so I'm over the moon with how she is lately. Uh, that was our length and canter up the long side. Really happy with her length and canters, actually. She does her length and canters a lot better than she does her length and trots. A nice tr downward transition there as well. And here we come up for our next canter. Another smooth transition, probably better than the first. She's a lot better with her head set through the canter than she is tr the trot, as you can see. And here we have our 15 metre circle. She's just a lot more consistent. I personally like her canter in general more than I like her trot. I think her canter is a lot smoother and it's a lot more uphill and she tries a lot harder. There's her length and canter. See, she actually she actually always gets her length and canters, which is not the same with the trot. And I just, she's so adjustable in the canter compared to the trot, which is amazing. So another pretty nice downward transition. Uh, long rain trot which she's normally quite good at too she stretches out quite nicely could get a bit more of a neck stretch down towards that half of the circle but it's still a work in progress which is what everything is for us pretty much bit of hesitation coming back into the working trot but not too bad she's slightly on the forehand then and dropping the pole she's getting a bit tired probably towards the end of the test and here we come up the center line for our Halt at X. Nice trot there, a nice headset as well. Um, yeah, it's an alright halt for that day, I guess. <laughs> um, so here we have now our 3A. Oh, and we also won that test that you just saw as well, the 2B. 3A, which was by far my favourite test of the day. Not a bad halt. 
favorite meaning I was so bloody happy with this test so it was the best elementary we've done out of the three we've done as of this day it was just amazing to get her going through as nicely as she did and then she gets a length and trot as you see I have found actually with her elementary and it was the same at Bathurst she always has more energy doing the elementary it's always the last test of the day and she can be lazy and tired in the novices as soon as we do an elementary she perks up and gets a lot of um, energy I'm not too sure why that is but it's amazing here we have our first shoulder ins we score really nicely for our shoulder ins which is strange because they're considered harder than leg yields but we score so much better for our shoulder ins than we do our leg yields and I think we also find them easier. They seem so natural to Jeff compared to the leg yields. I don't know what it is, but she just does them so well. Here's our rain back. We didn't score that great for the rain back. I think we got about a five for the rain back, and I thought it deserved higher than that. We got a eights for our shoulder ins, which was amazing, and we scored very well for this long rain walk. As you can see, it's quite nice. Here we come up to our first walk to Canna. Um, that was my fault there. I kind of prepared too early and got her into it so she thought it was coming sooner than it was then anticipated it I was not phased here we have our length and canner because if you would have seen my barrel dressage vlog recently we got none of our walk to canners and she actually got it it just wasn't clean then but at barrel we got none we just got carry-ons and just it was horrible I warmed her up a different way I didn't do any walk to canners in the warm-up in Camden and it worked perfectly. I've done that again since and it's definitely the way to go because she doesn't anticipate it. She doesn't need to be doing them in the warm-up because she knows how to do them. It just, she'll just expect them if I do that. So yeah, last comp, which was barrel, was two weeks ago. We got no walk to canners. So far we've got one and we've got two more coming up. This is our second one. So unbelievably happy with that one. Oh, I was so happy. I had the biggest smile on my face when she got that one because she's never gotten a clean walk to Canna in our elementary so far. So I was so happy. And in my head, I was like, oh my God, that's two. Two out of two we've gotten so far. So, because my aim for this as well with my elementary was not to get a clean walk to Canna necessarily. I just wanted to get at least two <laughs> because after getting none, I was like, I want to get two. And after getting those two in the test, I'm like, we're going to get this third. Like, we're going to get this third and we'll be brilliant. I don't care if it's clean, but I just want an actual walk to Canada. She can chuck her head if she wants, prefer it if she wouldn't, but, you know, was not phased. So here we come up for our third walk and third and final walk to Canter. She tends to slow down a little bit, but gets it. She gets it. She chucks her head a little bit, but she actually got it. And it was really smooth apart from the fact that her head came off the bit a bit. So I was so happy with that. Three from three, and I was so happy after this test. It made my day, gave me the confidence I needed to go into Bathurst to do this test because I was so scared that this test would go bad and I'd go into Bathurst to do an elementary and I'd be so nervous because I don't want to have mistakes like that at a royal show. So I had so much confidence after Camden. Um, <laughs> she's falling on the forehand a bit there. But we scored a first for this test, which was so happy, and a 66%. Our other two elementaries didn't even score over 60, so I was so happy. The judges loved Jeff in this test and were so kind, and I really was just really happy checking her halt at the end. <laughs> Is the guy man? Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello little nose, you're so affectionate. <laughs> what is it? Come on. dog I dig hole oh shit humans got me <laughs> okay guys so we've just put Jeff away as you would have seen and I'm gonna try and do this outro before my camera dies 
So I'm very happy with today. We got a 64 in our elementary. We hadn't even gotten above 60 in the previous two elementaries, AKA the only other elementaries either of us have ever done. So to get a 64 was amazing. We got one perfect walk to canter and then the third one was actually like also like better than all of the other tests we've done. So the first one was questionable, but I'm so happy. We won all our tests. In the elementary, we also got um, third overall. So out of all the horses and adults and everything, we got third overall, which was amazing. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, my next competition is a big one. It's our first big comp of the year. Hopefully first of quite a few. <laughs> and it is Bathurst Royal. So I did Bathurst Royal last year on some other horses, but this year I'm taking Jep, so I'm really keen. I'm doing a few dressage tests there, as well as the Pony Club Day. So we'll see what I do at the Pony Club Day, but I mainly entered the Pony Club Day for the dressage. <laughs> So yeah, I'm super duper excited and and it will actually be the biggest comp Jeff and I have done together as well. So we had a few big comps last year, but none of them as big as a royal together. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next week. Alright, bye!